Hey, some ninjas, feels good to have you back here. Okay, as the topic says, we're here to discuss the topics in mathematics that you're likely to see in your jam for 2023. Let's get into it. I'm hyped. Well, before we dive into that, please do well to subscribe so you can see more videos like this for yourself and your loved ones. Anywho, jam is the short form or the acronym for joint admission and matriculation board this board is a nigerian board yeah that set exams for the tertiary level institutions right so this exam is called the utme so some of us used to mistake it then we used to think oh jam is the exam no jam is a board then utme is the exam it's an acronym for the unified tertiary matriculation examination do we get it now now let me tell you some things you should know before we dive into it proper yeah first things first i would always tell people do your research yeah because you could be asking the wrong person the right questions and get the wrong information at the end of the day do you get what i mean so use google most especially google is your friend and if if you're not able to get all the questions all the answers you needed from google you can now ask people ahead of you who have done this thing before you who have written jam before you yeah so we know that the registration started on the 14th of january this year and we know that we're supposed to write the exams in april may that's how it's been written every year but what else do we need to know you should be able to get a jam brochure what is this it is a book that shows you the syllables the universities in nigeria the courses that you have in these universities you know every information you need to know about jam so before you are able to say oh i love unilag i want to school in unilag make sure the course you want to study is offered in unilag do you get what i mean if you want to be a mass communication student make sure you check if unilag offers mass communication so that you're not wasting your time and energy do you get that is why i started with make sure you do your research now moving on if you have gotten to know that oh mass communication is being offered in unilag what is the cutoff mark you need to know okay now you might be wondering what is cutoff mark this is the mark that is required of you to get before you can be admitted yeah so if you write your jam and if you write your jam examination and you get 180 for example and the cutoff mark for mass communication in unilag is 200 you didn't get it you need to get 200 and above you need to know the combination of subjects what are the subjects you need to combine to get mass communication if you had like we said you chose mass communication for unilag if you go choose mathematics physics and biology you're not getting the admission because these are science courses that don't even have any relationship with mass communication do you get what i mean so you have to know the combination of subjects required for mass communication in unilag because every school has their different rules and all of those things so please get the jam brochure okay now moving on note that jam is written once in every year if you fail this year's jam exam you're writing again the next year it expires after a year you can't use the same result or for example if you get the jam for this year if you get your cutoff mark and you don't get the admission into the university you chose you can't use that same result next year you have to sit for jam again next year i know it's not a fair rule but that is the rule okay now another thing i need you to know is it is over 400 meaning every question is marked over 100 so because you have four subjects it is 100 times four which gives you 400 so you're expected to get at least get 200 and above because if you get 15 every subject you get 200 and above so just try try to study do your research ask questions and just just go with confidence knowing that you will get it and you will get it
Also know that even after you have written your UTME, you might be asked to write a post GME in your university of choice, in your choice of university, sorry. So you should also note that. Ask if your school would require you to write a post GME. Use of English language is a compulsory subject. You don't need to pick it. It's there. They want you to know that you have to pick English. Okay. So what is left for you is the three other subjects that you have to pick. As a science student, please don't ignore mathematics. Write mathematics. Please. It's an advice. I know why I'm telling you this. So try to pick mathematics. No matter how much you don't like mathematics, just with these topics I'll give to you and you studying and also taking extra classes, you should be able to pass your mathematics. Don't worry. All right, let's move to it. What are the topics that you would likely see in your mathematics exams for JAM? Well, based on analysis, yeah, this is, we've checked from the years down to this point. We know JAM started in 1978. That was like 45 years ago. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. From then until now, we've checked. Or let me say, we've checked from 1998. So now these are the topics that we've noticed have been, you know, asked. So first things first, indices, logarithm, and sword. If you need videos to learn those topics, we have videos already. Um, just check. I'll leave a link somewhere. Or you just check our previous videos after you've seen this video, yeah? And then moving on, we have number basis. Number in base 2. Change the convert number in base 2 to number to base 10. Conversion. Try to know that. Now, another important topic that you would likely you would definitely not even likely you would definitely see is statistics and probability okay when i say statistics i mean mean median mode mean deviation you could also learn standard deviation and variance yeah but this you would definitely see mean average we know that average and mean are similar or the same yeah you should also know the chart then you say your bar chart, your histogram, your pie chart, try to learn them because you might see them. And probability, when you hear head or tail, a dice was toast, those kind of questions, yes, try to study them. You would definitely see it. And also, you would see permutation and combination. Most likely, you would see permutation. It's occurred. It's a chord. It's a chord. So you should learn permutation and combination. During my time, they gave us calculator. So I don't know if they still do that. So in case they give you a calculator, you might see the permutation on it. But it's better to know it. Just learn it. It's straightforward if you ask me. Just learn it. Permutation and combination. Now, another topic you'll definitely see, definitely see, set and Venn diagram you will see set and venn diagram it's occurred severally so it has a high percentage of you seeing it so try to know your venn diagram venn diagram is where you have your square and the circles inside the square and then they are asking you um, the intersection the union you know those things that's venn diagram and then you, another topic you definitely see is your geometry. When we say geometry, we mean your shapes. Circle, most especially, where you have your chord, your diameter, um, your radius, you know, like length, area, perimeter of a shape. That's geometry. You would see questions in geometry. You would also see questions in trigonometry, where you have your sine, your cosine, your tan. Those kind of questions you would see. You see statistics, probability, percentage. They are real life things, even outside science. These are things that happen. Okay, what's the percentage of having a discount? You know, these are real life things. So you would see percentage. So learn percentage where you have your profit, your loss, your ratio, your rate, your proportions. Yes, learn percentage. You would likely see percentage. Yeah. Another one you should look forward to is 
arithmetic progression and geometric progression. <laughs> it's no brainer. Arithmetic progression has been asked year over year, like year in, year out. So you should learn arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Yeah. Another one you should actually, another topic you should look to probably learn is variation, where you would see something like this directly varies to this or this inversely varies to this. Those kind of questions. Joint variation, you would see a question in variation. So try to learn it. Another topic is the number line. You know where you have your diagram and you have 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2. That's the number line. You would be asked, you could be asked to interpret the diagram you're seeing. Try to learn it. You're greater than, less than, greater than or equal to. Yes, that's your number line. Try to learn it. Now, another important topic you would see is factorization and expansion. It's either you see factorization or you see expansion, but they are they go hand in hand. They are like it's a reverse case. Factorization is like the reverse of expansion. Yeah, so you would definitely see probably see i don't want to sound like i set the questions no i'm just telling you based on analysis from the past questions that's why it's important that you study your past questions so that you get acquainted with this this topics i always had past questions growing up that was one thing that my parents tried to do for me so it helped that way you know what you are going to see or you have an idea of what they would ask. Do you get it's better to be on the safer side than to just go and freestyle? No. So try to get your past questions. These topics you would see. You should know that ah, they would probably just change the questions, but it's still from the topic. Do you get so if you have an idea of these topics, you should be able to do well in your in your exams. So another topic you should look forward to is change of subject formula. You're giving it an equation and they say, okay, make you the subject of formula or make V the subject of formula. Yes, you would see those kind of questions. Another one you should look forward to is word problems. When we say word problems, you know where you have a number is added to two and the result gives you 32. Find that number. That's word problems. They want you to interpret what they, what they just, the sentence. They want you to interpret it and then solve. Those kind of questions, they usually occur. So you should look out for them, right? Another topic you should look forward to is metrics. Metrics, metrics, metrics. Addition of two matrices, two by two, three by two. Multiplication of two matrices. Determinant of a matrix, please learn it. You would likely see that kind of question. Now, another one that I cannot leave without saying is pre calculus. Oh, probably calculus. When I say calculus, I mean integration. Because I think they are tending more to integration than differentiation. So, learn your integration, just a simple integration, and learn your differentiation know the rules and how to solve them and you, you might see limits too you might see limits too so try to just know these topics familiarize yourself with these topics so that when you see changing questions but from the same topic you already have an idea on how to go about it one thing with mathematics is you should know the formula and the steps it it requires you to take that's all and if you have the topics where you need rules, like indices, you have your rules, log with them. Once you know these rules, you're good. No matter how they twist the question, so long you know that anything raised to the power of zero gives you one. If you see that question anywhere, you would answer because if they say two raised to the power of zero is one, and you see another question that says five raised to the power of zero, you already know the rule that says anything raised to the power of zero gives me one. So one thing with mathematics is know the rules, know the formulas and know the steps that requires you to get to the result you get what i mean so i want to leave now before i leave do not forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you can get informed and follow us on other social media platforms one instagram facebook TikTok, twitter 
just check the link even on linkedin you would see our links um yeah and also i've had students come to my dms to ask if there would be classes if you want to attend the jam lessons class um, you can send a dm on any platform any other platform just send a dm it's going to be starting this weekend that's fridays and saturdays okay so what i wanted to leave behind before i leave <laughs> is try to understand that you are you okay you're different from even your twin yeah so what you know you want you know you want let me break it down you want to study engineering and somebody's telling you that you should study medicine they are doing well there is money in it now you ask yourself are you going in for the money are you going in for the love you have for it or are you just going in because you don't even know what you want ask yourself those questions if you're going in for the money no problems everybody needs money if you're going in because you love it and you want to be happy no problems everybody wants to be happy if you're going in because you have no idea no problems we don't have it all figured out even at age 40 so what I am saying is do it for you, okay? Because if you do it for somebody else in the long run, on the long run, you would end up re regretting or pointing fingers. Do you get what I'm saying? But if you do it because you said you wanted to do it, you would point at yourself, yeah? You would not be so mad at anybody. You'll be mad at your own self. That is why you should ask the right questions. Do your research ask the right people and also ask God for direction and the spirit of discernment yeah we all do not have it all figured out at any age okay every day is for clarity yeah I don't want to go too deep into talking or uh, but I know I barely have this time with you guys um so this is just what I wanted to let you know just make sure you do this live for you for god i serve god i believe in god so i'm saying god okay and yes we will keep figuring out life as we go okay so i wish you all um are you jam bites i wish you all the best for those of you who are about to sit for jam for this year okay see you in class